So now I'm in the taxi going to Veggie World Beijing. This is the first time Veggie World has been in Beijing, so I'm super excited. It's going to be about helping the environment, helping people be healthy, and also helping animals be more healthy. So it's going to be a really nice event. There's going to be lots of food there, lots of information, apparently even clothes as well. My main priority though is just the food. Here's the poster for the event. I'm super excited. I literally just want to eat, 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 eat. Okay, I see another banner that says Veggie World Future Food Forum. Oh, bloody hell. Gotta find the front door. I found it. It's over there. Super exciting. I don't know who that guy is, but he's very lucky to be the face of Veggie World. Here's the sign in area. Let me get my pass. See you, see you. It's a very nice space, it looks lovely. I can already see Oatly, I can see some food. Okay, nice, let's begin. I just tried Omni Pork, amazing. So they had a bouncer, which is like a stuffed bun, and then they had a very, very thin dumpling, delicious. This is Oatly, they're taking over. Completely, hugely famous around the world. Oh yeah, burger time. Let's get a burger. This is Beyond Burger. Hugely famous. I really, really, really want to try it. It looks very realistic. You can see the texture. Wow. Mmm. Wow. That tastes just like a normal burger. Actually makes me want, well, it makes me miss meat, which I don't think is the purpose. But that was delicious. How can I have a whole one? Now this is just egg. This is popular as well. I've never tried it before. I'm excited to try it. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. A little bit milky vibe. Very, very nice. I've just got to say I'm in food heaven. I've gone down the food aisle first, totally by accident, and everything tastes great and there's just so much choice, it's amazing. So here is some, oh I like this company, I already know this company, Whole Perfect Food. Ni hao. I already buy their food off Taobao, so I know I like it. So this is a company called District Suka Trading. It looks like they must import things and get things locally. Oh, temper. Everyone talks about temper. I've never tried temper. Nice. Lovely. Mm. Wow. Han Hao Chu. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm starting to get tired. I've probably only done six booths. This might not be edible. Some of it might actually be soap. Because this one says relaxation. Okay, I have finished aisle one out of four aisles. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. That's all I've got to say. Um, I'm so well treated. Now here is a new yogurt, which is plant-based. And they have different flavors. There's almond, blueberry. So this is great. Um, you might think, oh yeah, we can get soy yogurt at home in England. In China, this is the only brand available in supermarkets. And it's not even available in all supermarkets. I've actually personally never seen it. People usually buy it online, so for having this available um, is amazing. So yeah, great. This is Naked. Naked are very famous in Beijing. They make hi. Congrats on your award. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. yeah. So recently, Naked won an award for Poverty Alleviation Award by the British Chamber of Commerce in China. So now I'm going to ask the founders, how did they win this award? Please tell us. So we cooperate with an NGO called the Paradise Foundation uh, in northern Sichuan in a place called Lavago. Uh, and there, they not only grow the peanuts, uh, but we also manufacture the products there as well. So normally uh, what they have to do is they have to travel you know, an hour or two to the closest city to find work. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring jobs back into the local community. So we used the local labor, local resources, so that was our, you know, that's our effort to alleviate poverty in the area. And that's why we won! 10% um, of the sales from each job go back to the local community. So supporting the farmers in that region and also the nature reserves. Well. Great, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for telling us and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
for Vegans in Beijing. Beijing. So we're a 1,000-plus member volunteer-led network dedicated to promoting a plant-based lifestyle in China. Uh, here are some of them. Um, so we have like partners. around three events a month and we have them at some of these restaurants. These are a few of our partners. We also do movie screenings um, and we put on festivals. Uh, so here's a vegan passport. Um, it explains in Chinese uh, how to work, order vegan food. You can uh, contact us to get one. And here you can follow us on Instagram to stay in touch. Um, our tagline is Vegans of Beijing. Uh, so contact us to get added to our WeChat groups. Um, what do you guys think of going vegan in China? It's awesome. It's so much easier than people think. Surprisingly easy. Very easy. Yes. Yeah. Everyone Especially should do when you it. join our groups yeah. and come to events, uh, you find that there are plenty of vegan options in Beijing. Yep. Here's some plant-based home stuff. Got dressing gowns and all that jazz that I can't be bothered to list. I'm starting to get really tired now. This is, whoa, 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 Lunette. So this is about bleeding and not killing the environment at the same time. So these are like moon cups, um, but this is a different brand. So you bleed into the cup. It looks like it is um, plant-based oils very very nice not edible so I'm moving quickly on oh wow look this is from Hong Kong it looks like different teas now I'm a person who would rather eat my calories than drink them this is a company called Levera and I've only ever heard of them once before but actually recently I just brought their sunscreen factor 30 and um, it's vegan and very good for you Lots of nice things. Shampoo, perfect. Conditioner, great. Body lotion, body milk, body wash. Lots of things for your body. Even makeup, that's great. Very nice. I've actually got something very similar to that. My mum brought it for me. Um, eyeshadow base, perfect. Um, we've also got like mascara, lipsticks. Yeah, lots of nice products. Hmm. Oh, their camera is like nine times more amazing than mine. La Vera are very generous. They've got goodie bags. Wow, 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 wow. This scares me. So here we have Gardein. They have mini crispy crabless cakes. And they also have fishless fillets. Now, I've never been a huge fish fan, but I will try these items just to see what they're like. I'm going to try the fish fillet. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Sign me up. Buy me a subscription package. Wow. Heaven. Heaven. They almost taste like fancy fish sticks. Fish fingers. Fancy fish fingers. The reason I love them so much they're very mild on the fish flavour. They've got more of a creamy flavour kicking in. The texture's amazing. They've also got a lot of spice like garlic. Phenomenal. In fact, I want to go back and get another piece. So far, every stall I've gone to, I've been very polite and I've only taken one bite. Which, I mean, hello! I'm being so considerate and nice. But for this one, <laughs> I could easily take two bites, two pieces. Look at these beautiful crisps. We have white truffle and sea salt potato crisps. That sounds interesting. From America. Wow. Interesting. Maybe not so good. Uh, we have cauliflower puffs. I'll be honest, I've eaten a lot of crisps in my life. So I feel like I'm a good judge of what I like and what I don't like. I like a puff, but these puffs are too puffy. And by that I mean they're too stiff, too hard, they should be more light. And then finally, there is some chocolate which originates from China. And these are chocolate balls which are vegan, which is amazing. Um, they're very nice, very tasty, yeah, very nice and crunchy, good quality, which is surprising because usually chocolate in China is not so good. True story. <laughs> okay, now the chicken is in play. Look at the beautiful chicken nuggets and a little bit of ketchup. Oh, lovely! Thank you. So, I also tried crab cake. Thank God it's light on the crab flavor. I've never liked seafood, but it's nice. It's nice. 
actually reminds me of fish fingers, but more genuine fish fingers, the real fish fingers. So, I just want to say one thing about the chicken nuggets. Whilst I like them, they 100% reminded me of McDonald's. Wow, look at this, vegetarian yeah. bacon, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As everyone always talks about missing bacon, let's see what it's like. They're trying their best, okay? Um, they're trying to recreate meat. They're not as close as the uh, other companies. If I'm not mistaken, this is hot pot, um, which is a very popular dish in China, but typically um, heavy on the meat. But I can see lots of tofu, and I expect fake meat. Smells amazing. Wow, spicy, spicy, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here is the sampling station. I'll try a little bit of everything. Mmm, wow, very delicious. Nothing like meat. It's more like tofu than meat. That one's the best. So these are nice chocolates. They're all vegan. Amazing. And it looks like they've also got a shake as well, a protein shake. Rich and creamy, very nice. And I was told it's pea and sunflower. Sunflower is protein. Nice, very nice. So that was banana flavor. I've never tried coconut chocolate before. Okay, coconut chocolate, here we go. Wow. Praise the coconut lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 100% amazing. Still dark chocolate, but the coconut is so sweet that it's phenomenal and doesn't matter. Here's some organ. I mean, accordion. This is the final aisle I need to walk down. Wish me luck, I am beginning to fall apart. Here is the Veggie World sign! Veggie World! So, nut tea. Nut milk tea. I like how they spill milk with a Y so you know it's not cow milk. Love animals, peace with earth. Beautiful signage and very popular stool. I mean, who doesn't love a nice, refreshing drink break? Now, this is the topper that you put on top of the tea. It's very popular at the moment in China. A lot of milk teas or um, tea drinks will have a cream top. And obviously, as a vegan, you can't eat that but they've made their own variety, so you can. It is green tea with a really nice topper, so let's try it now. Wow. Mm. So I love the topping. It's um, nutty with a little bit of salt, and then the drink is really nice and refreshing and cool, which I need right now. Wow, the tea is lovely. Yeah, the tea's really nice. Very, very nice. And it's a cute little spade that they serve the cream with. Yeah, very nice. I think I've got cream on my nose. <laughs> but this tea is wonderful, and I'm so pleased to see a vegan tea with cream that I can enjoy. Veggie World Beijing was amazing, absolutely incredible, loved every second, 100% fantastic. If you ever get the chance to go to Veggie World, go. So much delicious food, so many nice people, and it's just great to see that there are people who care, and there are people who are helping make a difference. Yay! And it tastes delicious.